A road sign that targets President Obama is getting attention not only from drivers, but also now from the federal government. The jaw-dropping display popping up right along Highway 99 near Lodi. And tonight, local and federal investigators are looking into whether this could be a crime. Chris Pickle with the mystery behind the billboard and who's behind it. This is Highway 99 right behind me. As you can see, the sign sits right off to the side, a very visible location. And tonight, the question, does the wording constitute a hate crime? Pretty aggressive. It's just ridiculous. A sign with shock value. But maybe a little racist remark. Sheriff's investigators snapping pictures, along with countless cars pulling over on Highway 99 for a closer look. Reverse lettering preventing actual profanity. And a word beginning with N at the center of controversy and possibly a hate crime. I thought there's a lot of angry people out here. When it comes to definitions, this is not the derogatory word that springs to mind for many. Instead, by definition, the word means stingy. It doesn't express that real well. The sign saying Obama hurts small businesses. And we didn't hang the sign. It is, I mean, it probably looks bad because we're closing the business right now. On the same property, K&D Brew Through, a coffee and burger business closing its doors permanently. The economy, you know, we're not getting enough customers in here. Claudia Silva, who rented the property and her remaining employees packing up. I was going, who put that up there? I didn't do it. We don't know if it was a loyal customer who's upset that we're leaving. People have been calling and asking what's going on. At the nearby Rock and Robbins Diner, the message leaving a bad taste. Everybody should not be prejudiced. Obama fans are not even understanding the apparent play on words doesn't take the insult out of the approach. I don't care what color anybody is. It's what he's doing to our country that I don't agree with. It's somebody ignorant, we know that. The sign is on private property, and because it has not been determined if a crime has been committed, despite the controversy, tonight the sign still stands. We are told that the property owner is actually in Southern California. Investigators with the San Joaquin County Sheriff's Department have been calling him. But apparently he's been hanging up on them, and we're getting quite a bit of reaction on this palace. That's right. Since the story aired during our 5 o'clock show, Sam, we've received more than 70 comments on our Facebook page. I'm going to read a few to you right now. First, Maris writes, it is both racist and free speech. What it boils down to is a lack of taste and tact. Another viewer wants it to be taken down immediately. Jill says, people abuse free speech, and this is just one case of it. Jamie writes, somebody was brave enough to voice an opinion publicly, that person adds, I think it's funny. So what do you think? Should it be taken down or is it just an example of freedom of speech? You too can log on to facebook.com slash CBS 13. I'm sure we'll keep this discussion going, Sam. I'm sure it'll be lively. Thanks, Palace.